What's up, everybody? I'm Sniggenhoff, and we are back once again playing Stellaris with the new ships and more mod as the regime of Kemsala. On the last episode, we've been colonizing down over here, trying to build up our forces so that we can go to war with the Malgual, he Mal Malwigal hegemony. Um, I think we're still below them in tech. Oh, there's, yeah, equivalent in fleet power, equivalent in naval capacity, but superior in tech. So I'm not entirely sure we would be able to take them on. Um, I'm a, a tad bit below my naval capacity, though, so that could change things. And maybe my naval makeup is just better than theirs. That's also a possibility. One thing I did want to do is look into taking on some of these over here. That might be too big, but I could probably take this on. Open up NUS over here for some colonization. Oh, normal speed. Let's not do that. Um, some people have gone to war. Or I think they broke their non-aggression pact. They haven't gone to war yet, but that's typically a good indicator that they will be going to war. Border range increased, which is great. Core sector systems might not be the worst thing in the world. Naval capacity could be pretty good. Kind of need that right now, don't I? Yeah, let's go for the naval capacity. These guys are almost touching to the point where I could actually uh, put them in the same sector instead of two different ones, which would be great. Interested to see what it looks like when my ships get here. Ah, we just finished shields. Quantum destabilizer. This is auras for defense platforms and fortresses, which we don't have any of right now. We can get power plant threes. Red lasers or assist research. Power plant threes seem, seem fine. How we doing? The frigates acting as the screeners. All right, we lost about seven ships in that one. We just don't have the range to really take, well, like really tear these guys up without losing too many ships. There's two. This is their biggest fleet. And we're at the, uh, whatchamacallit cap again. Mineral cap. And we have contact made contact with the Vool hierarchy. We will not be held back, Vulians. Where are you guys at? You want to trade me 25... You want... I will give you 2,500... 20, 2,000 minerals for 2,500 credits. Yeah, that actually seems fine. Where are these Vulians at? All the way over here? I like how the uh, graphics of the battle have gone over the uh, map. They want to non-aggression pact us. Yeah, they're a ways away from us, so I think that should be fine. And then this science ship, I'm going to have come over here. Do some surveying. All right, and an inactive building, which is fine. Should have people in that very soon. Any other buildings that need to get upgraded? Looks like that's about it. You guys go repair. You do that and then that and then me let's go design some more ships I think I want to keep the plasma throwers here let's strip all that away though not quite enough power to use the big shields uh, hit and run at 40 correct yes 
destroyers should still be using the railguns. Wait, no, not that yet. Artillery at 60. Frigates. Are these disruptors doing anything for me right now? I only got a range of 40. Where I could put like these small railguns on them. So they could at least engage a little bit faster. Disruptors do 200% shield damage. Railguns do 33% shield damage. I think I think the idea is still sound. Uh, I want to take all that off. Where these guys charge up front, take the hits, melt the shields. Ooh. I take traditions. What is this? Unity output increased. We get an ascension. World shaper interstellar. Interstellar Dominion. I'm about to sneeze. Sorry. Muting now. Ah. <laughs> oh. Um. Interstellar Dominion border range, which isn't bad. I like research speed. I think it might be the research speed. Oh, wait, no, not that one. That one. And then next we go for like prosperity or discovery. Probably. Um, lost a bunch of Corvettes, a bunch of frigates. Construction. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Let's build 19 of those. Uh, I still have 20 destroyers. It's down to two frigates though, so let's build eight. Uh, received a transmission from the Independent Space Station of the Curator at Lambada Enclave. Fantastic. Uh, construction ship, you can definitely be doing some things. Mining stations there. Mining stations and research stations there. Ooh, and maybe I can connect these two now. Planets and sectors. System is not a neighbor. Maybe if I made that one? Yeah. Did that delete the other sector? Hopefully it did. Yes, it did. Fantastic. Oh, and I have leader spots. Building costs for just leader lifespan. Let's just take the leader lifespan. And let's drop a leader here as well. 28 year old with recruitment costs lowered or extra food. Where did the new guys pop up? Oh, they're out here. These guys' colors like blend together weirdly. Unless, or maybe this is their color, probably, and I haven't dis discovered them. That seems more likely. Uh, explosive weapon damage can get cruisers. Didn't I just get cruisers? Maybe I'll get strike cruisers. Defense stations, ion thrusters. Um, if it works the same way as it does in vanilla, I really want to just load this dude up with medium weapon slots. Actually, probably the plasma throwers. Yeah, 
And I want you to charge. And then spaceport wise, upgrade all these. building that'll be filled up soon enough you guys go ahead and upgrade that extra naval capacity is nice I can get another Keeping helping of naval capacity. I also like cheaper war demands. But I think I might need this naval capacity. Especially if these guys are still technologically superior to me. to form a defensive pact. I think that's fine. You're far enough away. The Psy aliens. Um, I'm not entirely sure I want to be part of a federation. No scientist. Um, go with Beacon Blue. Okay. Ancient survey marker. Fascinating. Still working through the rest of those. I have destroyer assembly yards now that I should probably build somewhere. Get those up and running. And uh, I should start on some cruisers. Going up to 40, I'm going up to 10, 20, and 40. Get like 20 cruisers would be dope. And uh, colony ship for this Gaia world. Oh, we'll build nine for now. Make it ten. Probably don't have enough room for 20 cruisers now that I look at it. Incoming transmission. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, now what is the question? Better power plants are nice. What is this? Advanced warship components. That could be interesting. Yeah, let's see what that's all about. Ship? Yes. Not ship designer. Expansion planner. This one. I would really like for this not to be in the sector. So I could either sector something else off or just take the hit for a little while. I could sector this off. 
does have two planets in it. I don't need to be paused for this. You ever do that? You're just like, because the pause button's right there, so it's like almost instinctual sometimes. You just hit the pause button every time you try to go to do something. It's just like, I'm just hitting the yellow button like five times. I don't need to be paused for that. I guess technically if you're min-maxing, you should be paused for it, but... Alright, the Mogwals are at war, so this could be my chance to get in there on them. Oh, this is a uh, lapse. Um, I need physics. A little bit of sniffles there. Science ship. Continue exploring the galaxy. Star charts. I do agree to that. So who are you guys fighting? The Ixtlar, which is these guys? No. Jessenax. I don't see no Ixtlar. These guys. I wonder if they're just this. It's very possible. Construction ship, why you be so lazy? Um, we can build. Why is it not letting me build things? I got a con gaff. When did I build a second construction ship, first of all? I never wanted a second construction ship. Is this one of the... Maybe it's uh, the, 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 the whatchamacallit's construction ship? Kind of seems that way. More naval capacity, which is nice. I'd go for another naval capacity, but I think I want this core sector system. In reality. You. I don't want you. Get out of here. Star Nation, formerly known as the Ixtar Star Collective, is no more. Yeah, it looked like it was those guys down there. So who is in this galactic compact? The Combine, the Conant, and the Conith, and that's it. Also, we're equivalent now to the Malgual. And they are at war with the Conith, which means they're at war with the Ixtlar as well. <laughs> or no, the Combine of Lorcal, those guys, I believe. And they have insulted us. Which can only mean one thing. War. I'd really like to find this last... Uh... Oh, is it here? Is there a... Did we miss something here? Did we get a failure on a... Or maybe that was where one of them was. It's probably like here or here, is what I would bet. <laughs> maybe Sylv as well. Sylv. How many more do you have left to build? Four? Yeah, I'm just going to sit on this until this tech is done. Not losing too much right now. Uh, I do want to do some stuff to it, though. 
build the spaceport. Um, build the robots. Not a lot of power on here, so I'm going to go ahead and use up this power as well. Save one of the mines to be a uh, whatchamacallit. Save that one. But we're going to go ahead and call an episode right there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. How do you think the Con Cornith and the Lorecall are going to fare against the Malwagal? That's all just a mouthful saying it like that. Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.